universal things in scuba diving are fairly rare, um, but when it comes to like scuba diving fitting, as I understand it, um, it could be wrong, so please correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments, um, back in like the 50s or something, uh, everyone was rocking um, A-clamp regulators, uh, which was fairly standard, and then someone brought out a screw thread uh, that they called a 5 8 uh, We'll get to that in a little bit. And they then sent that, what was it? I think they basically, that was gaining in popularity and people were kind of creating their own things because back in those days, you just kind of made it with whatever you had. Um, but they they wanted to create a, a, a standard. So the um, uh, DIN name um, comes from the Deutsch Institute for Norm, Normung, um, I think that's how you pronounce it, this is how it's written. Um, that's where the DIN name comes from. They took that 5 8 because it's a G 5 8 screw thread, uh, they took that, they, they tested it and kind of created a standard. DIN, the uh, the Deutsche Institute, no, no, no. Uh, they just create standards for everything, not just scuba diving equipment, um, but everything. Um, they, they've got a, a standard for all sorts, and they just kind of create these universal standards just to you know, standardize everything. It's German, go figure, they want to standardize everything and make sure it's all down on paper. 